Hey there, uh, it's been two months since my last update on Tadpole Tales. A lot of things have happened throughout these two months. I hope you guys are all well and uh, with that being said, let's get straight to the devilogue. So from the past two months, as you can see from where we were at, now we have actually some animations thanks to Giacomo's amazing work. During these two months, Giacomo has actually been super busy with his actual work and because of that, he was unable to commit fully to the project, which was super understandable. In my time, since I didn't have a job, I used my time to improve my skills on Unity. I've participated on two game jams. One is Toko Volleyball, which some of you have heard of, and it was a super cute game about two Shiba Inus bouncing balls. And I actually got to the first place in fun, so that was super... I was super happy to hear that. After several requests, I then turned the game into a mobile game. And um, it was quite challenging, but I had a lot of friends to help me out with, so thank you for that. The game is doing pretty well. I got above 100 players playing the game, and most of them were positive feedbacks. Of course, there are many things that are wrong with it, but um, I think it's not bad for a first try. The other game jam was the game jam I recently participated on Brackies. Um, I did it with these lovely people. And uh, we made a short storytelling game about a cartomancer trying to go back to their client's past. The art itself is very nice, but I think because I struggled a lot with making games in 3D, since I've never made a proper game in 3D, um, I feel like a lot of things are actually really bad. <laughs> But it's okay, that was my first try. Hopefully in the future, my character movements and everything else will be super responsive. I also recently picked up Blender, and it's thanks to my boy Bargy, I've fallen in love with 3D modeling. I'm still going through the course on Udemy, as well as watching plenty of tutorials on YouTube, like this one from Mordmord. Mord. So about the game, what is new? After Giacomo finished his job, he got right back to his art, he started pumping out new animations for the game. So the first new thing that we added to the game is these really cute otter bombs. The otter is one of the bosses that the players will face and um, these cute bombs will get spawned when this otter comes out of the water. I think this design is really cute and I think Giacomo did an amazing job on them. We had a lot of debate about the duck cannon and uh, used to only do this giant shot that both me and Giacomo, we thought that it was too boring. Uh, for some reason, Giacomo really hated the way this bullet looks. So we came up with these four different options for the bullet. We're not really sure which one we should pick, but if you have any opinion, please let us know. We also added two more attacks for the duck cannon. One is a shotgun-like attack that shoots many small bullets. And the other one is a missile tracking shot that basically tracks the player movement and through that attack, the player has to keep on moving and dodging. And I thought it was a quite interesting dynamic with the missile attack and the shotgun attack, as you have to keep on looking at the player's position, but you also have to be aware of the duck cannon's shooting range. And finally, our boss has the new idle animation. It used to look like this, and now it's like this. We're super happy with how it turned out. I think Rebecca, which is Giacomo's girlfriend, um, actually helped out on this animation and concept, so big shout out to her. Yeah, um, it doesn't feel like much on since the two months has passed, but like I said, we kind of had a small break, I guess, but we're right back on track now. Throughout these two months, I've also been searching for the most optimal way to create a sound manager. The one on the brekkies was quite nice, but it wasn't dynamic enough. The songs that we have have an intro side and then it has the loop side. That way the song can keep on playing, but it doesn't feel like it has a beginning or an end, if that makes sense. And in order to achieve that, I had to use two audio clips and kinda first find out the measurement for the first one and then make sure that the second one is played right at the end of the first one. And also to be able to transition between them as well as do this fade out and fade in effect. I couldn't find the way that I liked on YouTube especially, it was... I, I just I couldn't find the system that I was happy with. Some people made things overcomplicated and I don't like how much spaghetti code there was. 
But then I found this guy, he had a website and he was a professional sound designer and through his explanation I was able to understand and make a sound manager system that I'm very happy with. So this is how it looks now and I can switch between them by pressing different keys, obviously this will be replaced. But yeah, we will see how it goes. I might use the Brackeys system for sound effects, but I'm not sure. I quite like putting the sounds on each game object. It kind of feels like I'm grouping them into the right place. Plus my game is pretty small, so it should be very easy to track where each sound is. Now if you guys haven't heard about it already, um, we are planning on releasing this game for free because we want to spread awareness. Climate change and pollution is a serious issue. I know this problem isn't necessarily the biggest problem at the moment, as the world is falling apart, but I think there's nothing wrong with creating a positive incentive as well as an experience. Giacomo and I are currently streaming on Twitch. You can see on the left screen I'm working on Unity, and on the right screen Giacomo is working on the final boss animation. I also have a Discord channel and Twitter if you wish to get more personal with me. But yeah, join us, uh, feel like you're a part of the community. If Giacomo and I remember you as you interact with us, we'll most probably put your name on our game as well at the end as a thank you for supporting this little project. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, here are the people that I'm promoting today. So today we have Bargy, aka Jack. Jack is a wholesome game dev YouTuber that does a bunch of variety stuff. His recent AR game experiment was great fun to watch and in general just a great guy so show him some love. The next one we have Dual Wielded aka Valdeshkivs... First off, not only is he a meme lord, he's one of the fewest who are actually able to make his devlog engaging to watch which is super rare. If you ask me, the game he's making looks mysterious and spooky, I really like the art and everything he produces so far has been the highest quality. And finally we have Curious Game Dev. I find his tutorial quite informative and helpful, especially the last video that he posted on how to approach a publisher. Perhaps in the future Giacomo and I will actually have to consider it, so this video was definitely very useful. And that's all for today, so thank you so much again, take care.